Hey there guys, so the other day I pulled for Neo Visions Ferris. Um, I got her, I took her to the Bayonet trial, and we did it pretty quickly and easily. Uh, now we're going to try her on the Ashura trial, but instead of using her as a DPS, we're going to use her as a support unit. She's going to be our breaker, she's going to do a Ramu field to buff our lightning physical damage, and she's going to be um, doing some Esper stuff and, you know, pretty much just supporting. We're going to use Savior Lightning as our primary DPS for Ashura. I've, I've been meaning to do a Lightning Clear, haven't really gotten around to it yet. Well, it's time to do it. We're also going to use the old Lightning to imperil, um, imperil Thunder, to do Gun Imperil, and she's going to seal in Phase 1. And we're going to use Eurysia and Gabranth for the other parts of the team. Uh, and this is going to be a little bit tricky because uh, we're not using like a dedicated healer, so Gabranth is going to be at risk on some turns because you're right she's gonna be bouncing between her forms and she can't always top him off but we're gonna use Gabranth we're gonna start and shift we're gonna grab that wisdom of Hess buff then we're gonna go back to the base form where he is geared really well so it might be okay we're, we're gonna we're gonna really hope uh, lightning base form is geared to seal lots of elements she's using she's using a water dark and light element weapon uh, she is going to be um, now that I think about it, I did a test run a minute ago, and I actually pushed the boss quickly enough that we didn't even need to use Earth on that turn. So we're just gonna stick her. We're gonna we're gonna just hope to kill the boss by turn five. And I did it on a test run, and it worked out fine. So she's full evasion, and she can see all the elements in her kit naturally now. So there we go. Um, yeah, and then the shift form is geared for support. She's got Esper fill. She's got Thunderfall, Dual Cast, Tome of Lakshmi, etc. And she's on Golem to help out. Ferris Neovision's base form is just going to get some auto buffing. We're going to shift on turn one immediately, and she's going to stay in this form. She's going to be our breaker, and like I said, support. Got some Esper fill, etc. Eurysia just has um, some support in both forms. She is on Ramu for the field to be given from. Ferris, and she's also got Imperil from Ramu, which is going to be important for later. Uh, Saber Souls Lightning in the base form is going to be doing all our damage. She is geared with the gun for the, the synergy bonus and the, from the gun in peril. And she's got maxed LB damage, 250 human, 225 demon, 175 reaper. Shift form is all about support. We've got Seraph Staff and Anti-Decay Amulet to make her immune to debuffs. We've got full um, LB fill, auto LB, etc. And then you'll notice she's not immune to statuses, but the Seraph Staff in the shift form is going to keep us immune by stance dancing. And then Fulkani built me one as well. Pretty similar. Um, there we go. There is his setup. And then shift form. Uh, pretty identical. So the killers are all, I believe, the same. We'll double check real quick. Yes. Yep. All the same. Okay. Uh, the friends list is garbage in this game, and if I mess up, I don't want to have to spend four hours waiting and finding a new friend, so I might have to cut the video to start the fight over, but hopefully not. So, let's go. Alright, so, to start off, we're going to wait for all the autocasting to finish. A lot of autocasting. We're going to go ahead and shift Ferris. We're going to shift the lightnings. And we're going to shift Gabranth back to the base form. A lot of shifting on turn one. Alright, so to start off, Ferris is going to break the boss. And we're going to use fast attack to get some um, crystal drops. We're going to use ATB charge with these two to fill gauge and buff them, buff them up. Lightning is going to, let's see, gun in peril. And we're just going to gun in peril because she's in the shift form, which is not evading. So we're just going to gun in peril so she doesn't eat a counter attack. Ferris can because, um, oh, actually, Ferris is eating the counters anyway. Yeah, I should have used an attack on Lightning for more crystal drops. It'll probably be fine, I hope. Uh, we're going to dual strategium. We're going to do some force element for buffing. And we're going to do a demon killer on the friend. And Gabranth is going... Let's see, let's see what the crystal, the crystal situation looks like. If we get crystals... Um, actually, I don't have a choice. Gabranth has to do three skills on turn one. So he's got to do all three of these. 
I was gonna say maybe your brand could attack as well for crystals, but he can't. I think I think with the the call of the wild and all, mine's gonna fill his LB gauge. If not, I can. Uh... Oh, we got it. We got it. We're good. It's a little dicey there, but it was fine. Okay, so we're gonna start doing some damage now. Uh, first of all, we need to seal. So lightning's got the original lightning's got to go back. I hate that they're named the same thing. So original lightning's got to go back to the base form, and we're going to seal fire and ice with um, fire and ice, and then we're going to use crashy and thunder slash to uh, imperil thunder, which we haven't actually done yet. We're also going to use Ramu to put up the field, and then we're going to go back to the base form and LB with both our lightning. We're going to start this damage train. Wait for all this to finish. Okay. Let's go. Damage time. We've got Gun in Peril. We've got Lightning in Peril. We've got uh, Ramu Field. Pretty good. Pretty good. And now we're amplified. We weren't we weren't amplified in the past, but now we are. Um, Let's see. We didn't get, like, any crystal drops. That was really unfortunate on the Lightning. So we're going to have to fix that with Eurysia. I was hoping to do this later, but... We're going to have to use her to fill LB. Mine got no crystals. Oh, that feels bad. All right, Gabranth, you're going to have to mitigate. I guess we're going to have to use Gabranth's cooldown to fill LB gauge. And, um... I guess Spinning Blade. I don't know. Maybe get some more drops. Oh. That is painful. We did not get the crystal drops I needed. Ugh. It might be okay. We'll see. Alright, lightning in the water. We're gonna get some drops in a second with lightning, so this is Oh no, we got it, we got it. What am I talking about? We got it, yeah. We're good. We're good. Alright, so we need to see a lightning in the water, so we're going to um first of all, we're gonna use Ferris before I do anything. We're going to go ahead and top off the tank because he is looking painful. Um, yeah. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go back with the base form in Eurysia. We're going to do some more killers. We're going to do... We're going to steal in perils, and we're going to do another killer on... I think we did killer on the friend earlier. Demon killer. Yeah, we did. So we're going to do it on mine now. Alright, um... Let's see, we need to steal lightning and water, so... We're using a water weapon, so we can just lightning three times. Yeah, lightning three times. Do this before we do anything. And we're actually going to shift Gabranth on this turn and do his LB. But we're going to wait. Not yet. That's going to put up um, some bigger mitigation for that big attack coming in next turn. Alright, let's do some damage here. Now we're now we're um, amplified. Very nice, very nice. Okay, so one more LB will do it, but we're not going to be able to fill LB gauge, unfortunately. So we're going to have to go ahead and swap an ATB next turn, which is fine. Yeah, because Eurysia is in the base form, so she does not have her... Uh, I was to call it. She does not have her access to her her magnus and we can't shift this turn it's fine though all right so we're gonna go ahead and shift the lightnings and do atb to fill them back up and by shifting that activates call of the wild again it puts up all the the lb fill mood maker stuff like that so atb charge um this is wind and earth so we we did we need wind and earth um so wind and we'll just do some imperils This is the attack buff turn, by the way, which is really painful. Uh, Eurysia, we're going to use Eurysia to cure debuffs. And let's have Gabranth go back to the base form. Let me think with Gabranth. I don't want to use a Magnus. I don't, I don't think I need it. I don't think I need it. I think we'll be fine without the Magnus. Um, we're gonna heal with Lakshmi. Yeah, I, I, I like this plan better. And then we're gonna steal in perils 
And I guess we'll do a tiny barrier. Okay. I think your Brantz is going to survive fine here. We're not using Golem. We're not using a Magnus either. This is an attack buff turn. We did cure the Imperils. He's fine. Because we cured the Imperils, he's fine. Okay, so this is the turn we're going to push the boss to the next phase. So, we don't really need anything from those units. Uh, let's have Lightning. Shift. What are we going to do with Lightning? We don't really need anything. Let's go ahead and do this. Um... Trying to think if I want to do anything beforehand. Not really. We're definitely going to push the next phase. We'll go ahead and just do it. Alright. Uh, I think Eurysia. I think we want to fill LB Gauge with the Magnus. Because we want to do it again in a moment. So we will... Magnus. I'm trying to think. Okay, so Gabranth definitely wants to use his own Magnus and then whatever we'll just um actually let's refresh physical mitt while I've got a moment that's fine okay so Gabranth is surviving here um I'm trying to think of the, the smoothest way to get this done Oh, I didn't even have the Ramu field up. Are you kidding me? And we still push the threshold. Wow. Impressive. Let's go ahead and put that up. I guess that means that means we need her to heal. And we'll use her to fill LB gauge. And we... Yeah, it's fine. So our LBs are good to go. And then... We'll just hit the boss a bunch. With lightning. For crystals. Yeah, we're fine. Okay, next phase. Let's do it. That phase change is always so painful. All right, we can't mix elements anymore, so we can't use Ferris' LB because it's innately fire element. Uh, so we're going to use Ferris to just full breakdown. We're going to use Lightning in the shift form to Thunderfall. To Imperil. Um, let's go ahead and do this. Get a little bit of damage in. That's fine. Alright. Uh, Eurysia, I guess we need to use you to heal, don't we? So we'll heal, and we will hybrid interface or whatever to do that thing. And, oh, nope. Anger Brand will just cover. We're not curing his imperil this turn, but it's fine. It's not. It's not a debuff cure turn. All right, turn eight is when the boss cures the debuffs. All right, that was pretty painful, honestly. Got to be honest, it was pretty painful. Um, all right, so we're gonna shift the lightnings on this turn, and we're going to ATB buff. So ATB charge. That also reapplies our break immunity and all that, which is going to be kind of important because the boss does all that this, in this phase. Status immunity, you know, all the good stuff. Um, this is, let's see, turn 7 is a thunder turn, so we absolutely have to cure Imperils because thunder Imperil is, a, you know, bad news when you're using lightning. So we're going to steal Imperil because this field does buff the boss as well. And now we're fine there. Um... We're not attacking the boss. So we can... Yeah, this should be fine. Let me... I'm trying to think. Let's see how much healing lightning can do. This is probably going to be super minor. Oh, it was something. Alright, Gabranth. 
How's your physical mitigation? Yeah, I'm not keeping track of my buffs as well as I should, as you can kind of tell. Um, reduces physical damage. All right, I guess we're gonna have to do it this way. All right, so we're going to mitigate and cover, or mitigate, etc. And we'll just use Lakshmi to heal. It's fine. All right, so Eurysia will cure debuffs um, with four element. And then we'll do anti force strategium, I guess. I didn't really give Eurysia much mana regen, it seems. Alright, we're gonna need the lightning field in a second. So let's go ahead and do that after the auto buffing finishes. Uh, we need the lightning field again. The boss is going to cure a debuff in a second, so there's no point in really doing anything special here. So we're just going to fatal sweep. I'm not using the LB because the boss's shield is up and um, that shield is just trash. So we're going to just only LB when the shield is down. So we're just going to fatal sweep three times, which is non-elemental. Um, now that I think about it, actually, why am I non-elemental chaining? Derp. What is imbue? Oh, uh... You can tell I'm confused. What am I doing? Alright, let's cure... debuffs. And... barrier, I guess? We really need more healing. <laughs> this is going to be rough on Gabranth. Um, okay, so we will imbue. Oh, you know, what? I don't even have to imbue. What am I doing? I'll just, I'll just chain Electric Blitz three times. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Yeah, Gabranth should be fine. This is the uh, this is the turn the boss cures her debuffs and all, but um, we're, we we cure the imperil, so it's okay. Yeah, so we're immune. It worked out. It worked out fine. But the boss's debuffs are all gone. The shield is down this turn. This is this is why it's a little bit of a, a little bit of an annoying turn. But this is why I did it this way specifically. So we're going to use lightning to gun in peril. Yes, yeah, so we're going to gun in peril with lightning. Ferris is going to just break the boss. We're going to shift Eurysia. And we're going to dual cast um, in peril and curagia. Yeah, this works out pretty well. And then Gabranth. How's this cover looking? Three turns, we're fine. All right, we're gonna use we're gonna use a Magnus this turn because I'm not really using any big buffs here. And let's LB with lightnings. So we only have a week in peril right now because of the boss cure debuffs. So this is definitely doing less damage than it will be in a moment. Okay, and you see the confusion, but we're we're fine because we're using the uh, the Seraph staff. Oh, I was really oh that was a bad. I about to say I really overcompensated that turn, but I forgot that was with the Magnus up. So normally it would have been lower damage or more damage. Um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead and shift and ATB charge with lightning to reapply all these buffs. Uh, let's see, Ferris. I think this turn we want a Ramu. No, you know what we want to do this turn? We want to use her better break. Now that I think about it, and then Lightning can put up Golem this turn, and then Gabranth can. Just cover. 
Urisha can go back to the base form and we can four element and strategium, I guess. For a barrier. I wish she had better healing in the in the base form. Oof, that'd be so much easier. Alright, we're gonna need uh Oh, that's the heal. Blah. Alright, we're gonna need the lightning field again. Actually. We're not dealing damp well. We are kind of dealing damage, so we're going to use... How's the Imperil? Eurasia, oof. Um, let me think. So, turn 11... We're going to nuke next turn. I think we're going to use Thunderfall this turn. And I think we're going to use... Lakshmi this turn. Gabranth is going to do that. We're going to go back to the base form. And we're just going to triple chain. We're not going to have the field this turn. We're going to get the field next turn. It's fine. It's totally fine. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Turn 11 is a fire turn. Alright, so we will... Cure debuffs and do that for mana regen. Okay. So I guess we're gonna kill it on turn 15. We're not gonna kill it on turn 12. That might have been really ambitious to think I was gonna get a turn 12 clear in. Ouch! Big ouch! <laughs> Alright, so we need turn 12. Turn 12 is a debuff clear. We need the Ramu field. We did Thunderfall last turn. I think we're just gonna. Hmm. No. Let's let's LB before I do anything. Let me go ahead and LB here. Oh man. Almost. Almost. Look at that. All right. I'm su I'm like super cheap. I should drop an elixir on Gabranth right now, but I don't want to. So we're gonna just. Oh, what am I talking about? I can. Sh oh no, it's a debuff cure turn. Ooh, ooh, it's a debuff cure turn. Ooh. Okay, we're gonna finish the fight really soon. So we're just gonna use the last charge of the Magnus. So he survives here, and we're going to shift and just heal and hybrid thingy. And lightning can... there's no point to do that. But we're going to do it anyway. Yeah, the boss is curing all the debuffs this turn. So... And then, ouch, ouch, it hurts, because I didn't cure in perils, but I used a Magnus, it's fine. Okay, so we need to ATB and recharge again, and then we're going to kill him, or kill her, really soon. Let's ATB, let's shift, let's ATB. Uh, the boss cured all debuffs, so we need to break the boss. Um... We'll golem this turn. We'll use... Uh, this is turn... Oh, jeez. This is a... Oh, this is going to be a problem. No, it's not. No, it's not. We can cure debuffs with... Um, remove negative effects. We're fine. We can cure debuffs that way. Debuffs have been cured. Okay. There we go. I forgot that she had that mag. I should have been using that more often. Was it three uses per fight? That could have made us the turns earlier a little bit a little bit smoother. Um 
I don't think I can do 15% through the through the gauge or through the shield. So we're gonna wait one more turn. Uh, let's see here. Lightning will thunderfall. Gabranth will. Do his stuff. Eurysha will heal and cure debuffs again. Ferris will refresh the light that field. And yeah, we'll just we'll just chain here. We'll 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 go for the kill next turn. Okay. That was an overall pretty smooth clear. A little tricky. A little tricky managing the heals and all with your right having to go back and forth a lot. But, uh, oh my god, Gabranth, please stop. This hurts so much. <laughs> oh, King Bohemi, please save me from this whenever he comes out eventually. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, gun in peril again so we can get that big boy damage. Um, and yeah, uh, goodbye, boss. Okay, 15 turns, no deaths, all missions. Not bad. With the Ramu field and Ferris as our breaker, Eurysia helping out with the cures and all, and uh, yeah, 15 turns. That was that was smooth. It was smooth. It was, it was a little a little stressful trying to manage all the turns and the debuffs and using gun and peril and all, but uh, we got it done. So there is a, a sure clear with Savior Lightning, Ferris. Regular Lightning, Gabranth, and Eurasia. Okay, see you guys next time.